Compose a new email. Let's create a new email now. Outlook is open on my computer. I'll use the keystroke we just mentioned to create a new email. Control N, November. Control N, untitled dash message left paren HTML right paren to edit. A new message opens with focus in the to edit box. I'll type in an email address to send the message to. For demonstration, I'll just use my own email address, dclark at Vespero. Dan Clark, dclark at Vespero.com, left paren, recent people, right paren, one of two. And I'll press enter there. Autocomplete list sounds. You may have noticed the slight pop sounds when I was typing that address. Let me explain what that is. As you begin typing an email address, Outlook may display an autocomplete list. This autocomplete list lets you pick a person's email from the list as opposed to having to type it all the way out. So it is nice to know when it appears like that. Once you hear the pop sound that announces it, you can down arrow into that list and then press enter on an item. Once the address is completed, you also hear a different sound when the autocomplete list closes. So those are the two sounds you just heard. Let me demonstrate it once more for you, I'll type in D. Dan Clark, D. Clark at Vespero.com, left paren, recent people, right paren, one of two. You heard that click sound, and as I press enter, there was a different pop sound. Those were the sounds that are made when the autocomplete list opens to let you know that there are choices there, and you can press up and down arrow to move through, or when it closes, you also hear a different sound a very useful feature. Next, press the tab key. Edit. CC edit. This moves to the next control, the CC or carbon copy edit box. I won't CC anyone at this time. Press tab. Subject edit. Focus moves to the subject edit box. I'll type in something like test message for demonstration purposes. Press tab once more. Test message for demonstration purposes dash message left paren HTML right paren edit. Focus moves to the body edit area of the message where you can type the message you want to send. I'll simply type hello. This is a sample email. I'm not going to do this yet, but to send the message you can press the keystroke Alt S Sierra, but don't do that just yet as I want to show you something more. For most people, this is all you need for creating and sending an email. There's another field you may want to use sometimes that's not initially available in new messages. Let's look at how to turn on the BCC or blind carbon copy field. The BCC field is used to send the email to someone else besides the persons in the to or CC field secretly. This feature for Outlook is perhaps more suited for people in an office environment but may be used by anyone anywhere. An example might be where I will BCC someone like my colleague's supervisor while sending an email to that colleague. I don't want them to feel pressured by knowing their boss is seeing the email, but it may be just to let their boss know that they're doing some work for me. Adding the BCC field. The BCC field is not on by default. To turn it on, first, you must be in a message that you're composing. If you haven't already created a new message as part of this lesson, press Control N November to create a new message. If you've been following along with me, let's use the email I've been composing. Press Alt P Papa to move to the Options tab of the ribbon. Alt P Upper Ribbon Ribbon Options tab. Press B Bravo to toggle the setting on or off. Leaving menus, leaving ribbons, edit. It's in the Show Fields Permission group of the lower ribbon. Focus is in the body of the message I've been composing, so I'll press Control Home to move to the top of the message body edit area. Top of file. Hello, this is a sample email. Next, press Shift Tab to move back to the subject edit box. Subject edit. Test message for demonstration purposes. Press Shift Tab once more. BCC edit. There it is, the BCC edit box. I won't type an email address here now. Press shift tab a few more times to verify that the CC and two edit boxes are still populated as we had them before. CC edit. To edit, 
Dan Clark semicolon Dan Clark semicolon. Finally, when you're finished composing the email, go ahead and send it by pressing Alt S Sierra. Alt S inbox dash D Clark at Vispero dot com dash outlook list box Freedom Scientific Freedom Scientific Training Update four forty nine PM thirty seven kilobytes one of four. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. If you are interested in other training, please visit us on the web at freedomscientific.com forward slash training and on YouTube on our Freedom Scientific training channel.